Hello everyone! We have been busy at HQ building some great enhancements to Nuke 9. As of the B7 release, Nuke Studio gains a range of powerful new editorial features and soft effects. First, we have enhanced our XML importer. Reducing unnecessary rework, you can now import animated non-linear retimes, transforms and crops from external editorial packages. Bring those push-ins and pictures and pictures done with animated crops and transforms as well as any multi-keyframe time warps, including the interpolation types between keyframes, speeding up your conform times significantly. Multiple overlay tracks is one of the greatest additions to Nuke 9, quickly and easily create editorial effects requiring overlay in Nuke Studio's timeline. Either create new blend tracks or convert current tracks. From editorial to finishing, create complex pictures in pictures, preset your compositing elements or add logos and graphics for finishing all in real time or your sequence. We have also enhanced Nuke Studio's audio tools. Audio waveforms are now visible in the timeline, helping you edit your audio more accurately. Use the cross dissolves and the fade in and fade outs to add finishing touches to your audio tracks. The Nuke family now offers support for viewing and playing back stereo imagery in real time, either with Nuke and Nuke X flipbooks or on the Nuke Studio timeline, as well as the ability to use a stereo monitor for viewing through SDI out on Nuke Studio. Last but not least, Create burn in effects directly on the timeline with Nuke Studio's new burn in soft effect, which lets you easily add information and change the display data on top of your shots in real time. Burn ins can be added to a sequence as a track soft effect or per clip. Choose from a number of presets, such as time codes, clip name, and project name, and view them on a single burn in, making sure that you and your client have all the information at hand as you review shots in real time.